welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jordan. If you're new here, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell to be notified when I post my next video. Today's video, this is going to be 10 steps on how to study effectively in nursing school. If you guys are new here, I am a term two nursing student. Um, I finished my second term December 13th, so I'll be a term three nursing school real, real soon. I'm in an accelerated nursing program. My nursing program is only 20 months long. I started nursing school in May and I graduate next December. So December 22 and your girl I will officially be a BSN, okay? And that's on period. So let's hop right into the video. So the first step is to use a study guide. Now I know not all professors uh, do this, but our professors at our school, they give us study guides. So if your, your professors give you guys study guides, please utilize it. Study guides are good because it basically gives you a clear idea of exactly what to focus on for your test. I usually fill out my study guides early. I usually fill out my study guides either during the lecture or after the lecture so I won't have to do too much research when it's time to like actually like, you know, nail down and study. Um, I usually, after I complete my entire study guide, type up my study guide and then I write them on flashcards. Step two is study groups. So I literally talk about study groups all the time on my channel because they really are effective. But um, it's good definitely to study with other people because two or more brains are better than one. Study groups definitely help to like bounce off ideas off of each other, um, help you think of stuff that you didn't even think about. Or some people study in ways that will help you like understand the content easier. So that's why I really, really love doing study groups. I usually um, do study groups the night before the exam or maybe two nights before the exam. And since we're in person now, um, me and my classmates, we like to kind of do like a, sh a small, short um, study group right before uh, the exam on like our test day. So we'll like get to school early, meet up, and then just start studying, bouncing ideas off of each other. So we make sure that, you know, everybody knows what's going on and that everybody is good. So step number three is to study in sections. It's really good to study a little bit each day. Um, you don't want to like try to cram stuff in and procrastinate because if you procrastinate in nursing school, you're not gonna do well at all. <laughs> and it's like good when you're studying to take breaks. Um, like let's say I study a set of my flashcards. I like to take like a little 15 to 20 minute 20 minute brain break in between so I can have time for my brain to retain the information. And then studying in sessions really helps when you have like multiple tests um, coming up. So what I would do is like I'll study, you know, like for last time I would study pathophysiology one day, then I would study pharmacology the next day, or I'll do like pharmacology in the morning, pathophys pathophysiology at night, just so like I'm having like that break in between those subjects so I'm not like cramming everything together or like matching things together to where I'm confused on like what I'm learning. This is definitely helpful in nursing school because you know, you have to learn and retain so much information and you can't retain information if you're cramming things into your brain and you can't retain information if you're not giving your brain a break to retain the information. So, yep. So that literally brings me to the fourth step and that's to not overstudy. If you overstudy in nursing school or just any, I mean, any program, like you're going to burn out. I would definitely say um, when it comes to your exams, really focus on the material that your professor focuses on. Don't try to add too much information to what, you know, your professor has already said is gonna be on the test. Don't try to um, learn things that you haven't really learned yet. It's really good to pay attention to whatever your professor highlights of what's gonna be on the test. Don't add anything because I know a lot of students, they do that, they be like, but what about, no. It ain't no what about or if or why, no. That's not even on the test. That's not even what we're learning. Just focus on what we're learning so you can get through that and that's that and that's it, okay? Number five is to use ATI to practice NCLEX style questions. 
at my school, my professors actually make us um, practice ATI tests. The tests will usually uh, be over the material that we're covering at that moment. And we'll usually like have to do it like before our exams. But it really, really, really helps because, you know, ATI has NCLEX style questions on there. And it's good to be able to practice um, whatever you're focusing on, on ATI. So you can just get a better understanding on the material and how to answer the questions because as we all know, nursing style questions are not the same as your prereqs and they're just more, you know, critical thinking based. If your professors don't make you practice ATI tests, you actually can make practice ATI exams on the ATI website. So that's actually a really, really helpful tool. And I did that a lot last semester because actually they didn't, um, my professors didn't really make any practice um, ATI exams last semester like, they, like they're doing um, in term two. So yeah, I did that and it really helps guys. It really helps. So I would definitely utilize ATI. Okay, number six is to find your best study style. So my study style is um, I'm a visual learner and an audio learner. So as far as you know, visual and audio, I like to make flashcards, watch YouTube videos, read my book. Um, I like to go back and listen to the recorded lectures in class. But it's definitely good to find your study style and what works for you. I know first semester. Um, obviously my study style stayed the same, but when term two and as like we're progressing and learning more information, my study style has kind of changed and I kind of study a little bit more now because I really have to retain and put this information in my head. Okay. Like now I actually have to use this information because the stuff from term one is coming over to term two. So yes, I still use my flashcards and stuff, but honestly guys, I do not use flashcards as much as I did in term one. I still use them. I still study and use them for tests and all that, but I'm definitely watching YouTube videos more and reading my book more. Oh my God. Yes. I'm reading my book more. I hate it. I do. I do, but it helps sadly. Unfortunately, tip number seven is to try to start thinking more like a nurse. So like I said before, nursing questions are definitely not like your prereqs. It's definitely more critical thinking based and more action based. Like for example, like now taking fundamentals um, for term two, it's a lot of priority. Like you need to know what would you do next in a situation? And like, how would you pri prioritize patients? Like, you know, one patient could be at fall risk, another patient airway could be obstructed, and then another patient just needs some coffee. Okay, but, but who are you gonna take care of first? Obviously, you're gonna take care of the person with an obstructed airway first because ABCs, airway, breathing, circulation. So you just have to start thinking more like a nurse instead of like, a normal person <laughs> no like seriously because like you'll look at those questions on the exams and like my other nursing students nursing students you can relate to them like you can look at, at a question for a million million times and still pick the wrong answer because in nursing school like there could be all the answers could be correct but like what is the best answer and then that's what i'm basically trying to say just practice picking that best answer and what a nurse would truly do in a situation like what's helped me a lot um and I actually got this from one of my nursing friends when we did our study groups um she would tell me that she would when she was taking her exams when it would say like the nurse you would instead of saying the nurse you put I because in all actuality we are going to be nurses and it does make it easier when you're doing your exams and instead of saying the nurse did this you say I did this. And when you say I did, she'd be like, okay, so what would I do? Like, what would I do if I was in this situation? And that definitely helped. So try that guys, try that. And then also what helps to start thinking like a nurse is obviously to use ATI. So we're, you know, there we go. ATI comes up again, ATI and those NCLEX style questions, because all in all, that's what we're getting ready for. We're getting ready for that NCLEX. And we need to know how to answer those questions. So study that NCLEX. Um, also, if you have the NCLEX book, 
that helps a lot to do like practice questions practice 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 makes perfect and the more you practice the better you'll get okay okay step number eight is to use other resources so what i mean when i say use other resources don't rely on your professor for every single thing obviously you want to put your professor at a pedestal because they're teaching you the material that's going to be on the test but um i would definitely use other resources if you still you know don't understand specific parts of your content so for me i watch youtube videos i read my textbook you can go to the library study groups are good ask just at you don't even have to do a study group you can just ask another student like, like if you're just having trouble with one thing just ask that one question to another student and they might know the answer also if you're like you're really really struggling i would say get a tutor um a mentor something of that nature to help you but um yeah I definitely don't rely on just my professor. I definitely use other resources because sometimes you need to hear it in different ways and hear it from other people to actually understand the material. Number nine is to prioritize study time. It's really good to organize and plan when you're gonna study and how long you're going to study for. This definitely helps for you not to study too long or too short. For me, if I have an exam coming up and it's like the week before the exam, I'm definitely studying every single day. So I'm obviously planning study time every single day before that test. And if, um, how long do I study? It really depends on the test and, you know, if I have the, you know, information retained pretty well. But I would say if I'm going to study, I definitely probably study two to three hours a day, two to three hours a day. And sometimes I'll split that up. Like I'll study in the morning for one hour and then I'll study at in the evening for two hours or something like that. So I'm breaking it up, but I'm also planning when I'm going to do it because if I don't plan stuff, I'm all over the place y'all. And if I don't put it in my planner, I'm all over the place. If I don't tell myself, Jordan, okay, you need to study. Uh, the exam is in one week, come on, I won't study. So <laughs> yes, so it's good to really plan and organize on when you're gonna study and how long you're gonna do it. And only you really know how long it is, you know, it's good enough for you to study. And the last step, number 10, is to take good notes taking good notes okay guys so basically y'all already know this when that professor is repeating stuff multiple times highlighting stuff writing it on the board you already know that it's gonna be on the test so girl you better write it down in your notes okay so i used to actually write down all of my notes even when we were online schooling I would write down my notes for my prereqs. I would write down all my notes. I mean, literally my whole entire life, I would write down all my notes. But now, I type my notes, guys. I type my notes. So when I'm in lecture, because we are, you know, in person now, when I'm in lecture, I literally type my notes because it's faster. I can get everything down. And then um, if she says something really fast, it's easier to write, uh, type it down than writing it down. And it's really no different than how I would take notes on paper. I literally just do the same thing, but type it. So like, if it's something important, I highlight it. Um, I uh, color code my notes. So like um, for fundamentals, my notes are in red. Um, for Jero, my notes are in blue. So I still type in like color code. Yeah, and I just make sure that I make my notes really organized. Like if it's a new chapter, you know, I put a little line, I insert a little line on my little type notes and be like, okay, chapter 42, like this is a new chapter, make it real big, stuff like that. So you can still make your, you know, type notes organized, um, just as organized as you would if you were writing your notes down. So usually after I type my notes and type my study guide, I usually, um, write my study guide and important things that my professor said in lecture onto flashcards. So that helps with still having that muscle memory. Because honestly, guys, when I'm typing, I'm not really paying attention. Like I'm not, I'm really paying attention to what she's saying and just me getting all of it done. 
So it's really good for me to write down flashcards so I can have that muscle memory. And then I also just thoroughly kind of like look over what I type. And then I also look over the PowerPoint. And then also taking notes to me is utilizing my whiteboard. So if you guys seen my finals week video, I'm gonna insert it right here. So you guys can go watch it. Um, I use my whiteboard. Uh, if I just completely just don't understand a concept, I'll use my whiteboard. In that video, I show you guys, you know, how I use my whiteboard and how I study using that. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you guys go check that video out. Make sure you guys go check it out. And if you guys do want me to do like a study with me, so you guys can actually see like how I study, make sure you guys like this video and comment down below. But guys, that wraps up this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. This was a quick video, just 10 tips on how to study effectively in nursing school because honestly, that's the brim of nursing school is studying and doing homework and assignments. And if you can't, um, and if you don't have an efficient study style, then you're not going to have efficient test grades okay and that is the most important okay so i hope this video was helpful hope you guys liked it make sure you guys like comment and subscribe on this video and make sure you guys hit the notification bell to be notified when i post my next video okay peace